Hi everyone, I'm Alejandra from Alejandra.tv and in this video I'm going to show you how to make your own organizing products with stuff you have already around the house or things that you, um, you know, might throw away, you might want to keep. Uh, and I'm going to show you all the things that I made um, and just really how to get organized on a budget. So if you feel like you have to spend a lot of money to get organized, I'm gonna show you that that's not the case. So if this is your first time watching any of my videos, you can check out my free organizing video series on my website, alahundra.tv. There's a link below. Okay, so I've spent probably like two months making my own organizing products and I'm excited to share with you everything that I've created. All right, so the first thing is I've grabbed a shoe box just like this. This is kind of a large one, um, but I wrapped it in duct tape, red duct tape, and um, to make it really strong. And I've created my own homework caddy for students. So homework caddy is like all the supplies they might need to get all their homework done. So when they come in from school, they grab their homework caddy, they sit at the kitchen table or wherever they do their homework and they have everything in front of them, like everything they might need. So what I did on the ends was I took the, um, you know, the ends of like toilet paper rolls and I wrapped them in duct tape to create little um, pen and pencil caddies just like that and they're hot glue gun to the bottom. Over here, I took an empty uh, toothpaste box, I glued it to the bottom and then now I can put like crayons, a calculator, and then down here is a pencil case, there's binder clips along the edge, and then right here, I took a clamshell container that came with command strips, I saved it and now I just put sticky notes in there, it's like a sticky note organizer. So I just, you know, found whatever I had around the house and created something cool. So the total cost was $0. All right, the second thing I created was um, I took prescription bottles from around the house. I covered them in a pretty contact paper that matched the bottles. I hot glue gunned them together and now I have a pen and pencil caddy for the top of my desk. Um, and it's so cool. It's round, it's, you know, you can store a lot of things and it is, you know, the cost of just the contact paper. All right, the next thing I created was I went to the beer and wine store and I asked if they had extra wine boxes and you know, they gave me a couple and so I took one of them and I cut the bottom, cut the bottom off, I cut the dividers, I covered the bottom in white duct tape to make it nice and strong and then I gl hot glue gunned the dividers to the bottom to create a tea organizer. And now you can just take this and put this in a kitchen drawer and all your teas are nice and visible, they're easy to access and when you have guests over, you know, you can pull this out and ask them what they want and it's just nice and organized. So that was fun to make. The next thing, um, and this is not my idea, I got this from uh, Robert Mayer from Kin Community. He has a video on exactly how to make this, um, which I'll put a link below. But he made this uh, perler bead cord wrap, just like this. So perler beads are those little beads that you iron together, um, just like this. And he made it into a cookie, which I thought was really fun. So then I just took my earbuds, wrapped them around, and now it just you know keeps them tangle free, just like that. His video, he walks you through exactly how to make it. Okay, the next thing I made, which I was really excited about this, so one of my favorite organizing products um, is a Lazy Susan because they spin nicely, it makes everything easy to find, um, and they're just great in pantries and cabinets. So they're hard to find, they're expensive to buy, and if you live somewhere where you don't have access to organizing products, you might not have access to this. So I decided to make my own, and I'm really excited about this. I found two baking pans, they're eight inch baking pans from the dollar store. They were a dollar each found a pack of marbles from the dollar store. I put the marbles in between the pans, and now I have a $3 Lazy Susan made all by myself. It took like, once I have the supplies, it literally took 10 seconds to put together, and it's just so fun. It spins really nicely and smoothly, and it's just really simple to make. So you can see the marbles are just like thrown in there just like that, and it's seriously the simplest thing to make. Okay, uh, the next thing was my own jewelry organizer. So I took a piece of wood, I sanded it, I painted it a pretty color, I sanded it again to make it look a little bit distressed. I hammered nails and um, chains in there to give it more of a distressed feel. I don't know if that was accomplished or not, but and then I took hardware and I um, put nails here for rings, for earrings. Then I put uh, bigger nails here for bulkier, um, you know, bracelets and stuff. And then there's hooks at the bottom, like these, um, I think they're called eye, eye loop hooks or something, eye hooks, for all of the necklaces. And now I can just mount this inside of my closet to, um, you know, detangle and store all of my jewelry in a, you know, a cost-effective um, jewelry organizer. 
All right, so that was fun to make. The next thing, I like this. This is a plastic wrap box from the kitchen. I just saved it. Um, I took the blade off. Uh, the blade just like peels right off. I covered it in pretty contact paper. And then I found these little containers from the dollar store. They come 10 for a dollar. And they fit perfectly in here. They fit nine to the box and it's like, they were just made to go inside this organizer. But it's great for craft supplies, office supplies, beads, or anything small you have around the house. Like you could put hardware in here in the garage. Um, so just a cool little organizer for the cost of a dollar. And you can put a rubber band around it if you wanna you know, keep it shut. Then the next thing was this little uh, mail center for the top of my desk. So all I did was take three cereal boxes. I cut them to, um, you know, cut them in half. I wrapped them in duct tape to make it strong. I stapled them together and then I added labels. So there's, you put bills here, things to process here, and then uh, things to call, ask, or cancel go here. And an easier way to do this, because I spent a lot of time cutting it, is to just use grocery, not grocery, granola bar boxes, because they're all the same size if you buy the same brand, and just do it that way. So that was a, um, you know, a cheap project. And then the last thing I made was I took a pizza box, and you could totally do this with a smaller box, but I took a pizza box and I made my own tackle box. So if you open it, you can see I found all of these mini red cups from the dollar store. They're so cute, they come 20 for a dollar, and I just Velcroed them down to the bottom of the box to create little sections. So this is like my label, um, this is all my labeling supplies. So I put all my labeling supplies in here, but the reason why I Velcroed them down was so you could make your tackle box flexible. So if you're storing a bunch of small things, you know, one year, the next year you might use this to store bigger things, so you can always take the cups out and create like bigger sections just like this. Then you can always put them back. So if I take some out, then I have a bigger section right here for bigger things, you know, like these guys. So that was fun to make, and really the cost was just the cups and then the Velcro. And now, you know, you have a tackle box. And this is kind of like a big version, <laughs> so you could do it with a tiny box, it's just the concept is what I wanted to show. So anyways, um, so this is part one of my uh, do-it-yourself organizing products video. In the second part, I'm gonna show you um, nine or 10 other things that I created um, out of stuff I just have around the house. But it just goes to show that you don't have to spend a lot of money on organizing products. You can just get creative, think outside the box, and you can still get organized. So I hope you enjoyed this video. And if this is your first time watching any of my videos, you can check out my website, alejandro.tv, or subscribe to my channel um, for more videos. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you soon. Bye.